Excuse us, guys. Excuse us, guys. Thank you. Back up to your right. To the back up, please. Back up, please. Back up, please. Thank you. Back up, please. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, as always, for tuning in to Public Freakouts Unleashed. Boy, that last guy looked a lot like Seth Rogen, didn't he? But I promise you, it was probably not him. Probably. Okay, our first real story of the day. This man uh, is apparently a pastor, at least according to the woman who put this on her TikTok yesterday. Um, he's apparently a pastor, and here he is displaying some very ungodly behavior. The customer who recorded this next video is watching a battle play out between the woman on the left here who was an employee and her manager, the woman on the right. Now this has clearly been going on for some time and we are watching the explosive final battle. You'll notice all the customers end up turning against the manager. Long as you clock in and out on your time, you got your hours. You were scheduled to clock out, clock out. Last week I told you we counseled you about not taking your breaks and me going over labor hours to six and a half hours. Don't put yours. your fingers in my face. Then get out of the store. Boy, you don't know who you messing with. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Annie, I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm not scared of you. Leave. Everybody's mad because I backed up last time. I'm not back. Don't just blow your breath up in my face. Get out my store. Okay, just move out of the way. Both of y'all need to chill. Y'all acting like little two year olds. Calm down. Yeah. Go sit down. Y'all both relax. No. I'm both of y'all need to relax. She come in here and she acting like I don't know what. I'm trying to do what okay, I need. My need boss is on the phone. I'm not. I'm not doing this with you anymore, Annie. And you want to do it in the bathroom, nobody's the around? Is, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm not you want to run this guys, store? Um, do you want to uh, run this store? Are you sure? Are you sure? Sit down and do it. Then you're not anymore. And I am not telling you to go home. I'm going to scare people away. Clock out. Stop bullshitting on the computer and clock out. You're doing You know what? For you to be a boss, you're not being very nice. I'm not because I've had her assault me before, ma'am. No, I didn't assault her. But you need to take this somewhere else. You're right. I can't get her to go anywhere else customers right yeah you're the one being disrespectful right yeah. right <laughs> okay, I, I haven't clocked in yet it's no. not 2 30. nope 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 y'all let her get this call call y'all need to call call give me the number and i will she's the manager yes, yes. Acting like that. Right. That is so she, she got the right one because I'm um, she be in the school. Yeah. 
Okay, in defense of the random people who walked into this store and got this whole story just thrown at them out of nowhere, if I walked into a stop and rob like this and some random woman I didn't know was telling me that the man who owns the store had just full-blown hit her with a stick like something you'd find in the forest uh, because she took too many creamers for her coffee, I probably would have said, you're crazy. I don't believe you. Because I tried to take my four creamers. Nah, bitch, don't try to hide your face now. You try to get mad. Yep, I don't give a what you gotta say. Yeah. Look, look at him, y'all. He just hit my phone. He just hit my phone. You going to jail. You just assaulted me. You going to jail. You going to jail. You going to jail. He mad because I tried to take four creamers. Four creamers out the f store for my coffee. Me and my mom got coffee. He tried to make me take put all my creamers in here. You slow and I'm calling the police. You just assaulted me, bitch. Don't try to record me. You just hit me. I got it all on camera, you dumbass bitch. He just hit me with a stick. Yes. Him right there, because I tried to take four creamers for my coffee. My mom at the house, and she don't like me putting creamer in her coffee, so she asked me to bring them to the house. I took four creamers. If I'm lying, I'm dying right now. He hit me with a stick, bro. I swear to God. So I'm stealing. So I got it all on camera. This video was sent in to me from TikTok, and this guy basically rage quits the whole live band thing, like, forever. Uh, in front of all these people because these young folks had the audacity, these youths had the audacity to sing Screamo. So the guy in this next video appears to be an 18-wheeler driver who's on the job when this happens, and he's party to this massive car pileup. It looks like 20-plus cars, and while it looks like everyone turned out okay, and he, you know, goes around and surveys this whole scene, it's really crazy, um, he, he then has to deal with the 18-wheeler driver behind him who is unbelievably impatient. Check this out. Boy, 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 bad accident, you guys. Are you guys okay? Y'all okay? Everybody okay? Anybody need an ambulance, anything? Are y'all okay? Oh my God. Y'all look at this right here. That's why you gotta be careful on this road. You okay? Okay, what's your, she's okay? Okay. Somebody dial in 911? He dialed 911. Okay, okay, these people up here okay? Lord, yeah, have mercy. I, I'm the orange car. Okay, okay, so you good up there. I'm good. This you right here, my friend? Yeah. Everybody okay in your car? Yeah, we're all... Fine. Okay, let's make sure everybody's okay first. Lord have mercy. This truck, everybody's okay? Okay, what about this car right here? Hold on, Doc. Are you guys okay? Okay. Boy, boy, boy. Come on through, man. Come on through. Lord, you gotta be careful out of you guys. It's rough. Oh, Lord. Okay, come. I see a state trooper right there. Let me move mine on out the way. Whew. 
she says she's sure she's okay, right? Everybody up there is okay, of course. Anybody hurt? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move on, you guys. I, I got. Oh, you're, you're in this truck. Yeah, I'm in this truck. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move on. All right. Just the automatic. Make sure everything I got here is straight with me. Okay. All of you guys okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready to move my truck. To make it. Hey, man, you don't do me nothing. You, you wait. You, you wait. Now, you wait. Get out the truck and talk, man. You got something to say to me? What you say? I'm just making sure these people okay. Damn these loads. Okay, well, I'm damn these loads. I'm worried about these people's life. Well, just wait. Now, damn, you, you, you that damn honoring? People's lives is more important than these damn loads. You better talk in that truck. Let's show you what kind of life people have. He's so worried about a load in these people's life. Shut Cars and flipped over and everything. Good God Almighty. He worried about his damn load. He ain't worried about these people alive. See if these people okay. Goodness, show you what type of people you deal with in life. Boy, boy, boy. You may look at this disheveled, grumpy old man with his leaf blower and think, well, I don't really take him all that seriously. But for some reason, the way he delivers that I have the means to take care of you. I kind of bought it. Direction one more time, and we're going to have a personal problem. You can count. Look, it looks like there's one already. No, there is one already, and if you weren't so pussy, you'd do something about it. Okay? Like but instead, you, you blow you your do? shit I on just blew my You blow body. your shit on everybody. I didn't blow it on no, anybody. No, you know what? The county can come and they can talk to that neighbor, that neighbor, anybody. that neighbor, that neighbor, that neighbor. That neighbor, that neighbor. I didn't blow you it blow on it anybody. onto everybody. No, I didn't. Yes, you do. I just do. blew it right yeah, out you of the do. bicycle lane. Yes, you do. just blew it yes, out of the bicycle lane. Yeah, all totally clean. I've never once have I crossed Bullshit. the yellow line I don't give a shit. and gone over to your Stand yard and blown it right out of the yard. Hyper-powered goddamn blower that, that, by the way, is way over the DB limit for the county. I use it once you know or what? twice a year. You know what? Fine. I have the means to take care of it. Okay. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put up with it. If I, I, I never, see you blow one I more never, goddamn leaf. I in never my direction, once. His direction. His direction. I we're never all once. coming for you. I never once. Then goddamn blow the shit into your own corner and pick it up, and put it in a trash can. I never once blew it into your Bullshit. yard. Bullshit. The woman who recorded this next video seems to be uh, dropping in on a conflict between the. Uh, desk attendant of this pharmacy who's helping the window here and the woman who's trying to get her medication. But from the way that this starts right off the bat, I'm kind of thinking that the woman trying to get her medication was already being a problem. Why do I, okay, do you, why, why do I need to transfer my prescription out? Because y'all's window ain't open. What is your name and date of birth? Excuse me, why do I need to transfer my prescription out? Because, because y'all's pick up. For a whack. I came yesterday. She said she was going to transfer it. She did. What didn't. is your name and date of birth? What are you talking about? Now, you're di you're saying I'm disrespectful. You're being I disrespectful. I can't help you if you don't tell me your name and date of birth. That's not what I... My prescription is here. I don't need it transferred out. Okay, Can you you're drop... taking up my time, and I'm trying to help you. And, and now... If you don't let me help you, I will But you, you want to go back and forth with me, what but you could have... What is your name and date of birth? You could have dropped the prescription through this window right now. What is your name and date of birth? You hear this? Because I, I want my prescription. Answer my question. You said answer your question. What's your name? You don't want your medicine transferred, so what she should transfer. Birth? What's your name, ma'am? My name's Amber. Amber? Okay. So, Amber, y'all can't give me my medicine. That's I'm already. I'm trying to help you right now. But you it's already ready. You keep. No. Uh, it, okay. You're not you, listening. Okay, but you keep telling me you're going to transfer what is your my name prescription. And date of birth? You're not going to believe this next one. This guy, uh, he hears his car alarm go off and, and hears the crash of his window. So he runs over and he catches this guy red-handed. I swear to God, I didn't take no picture, bro. 30 seconds ago, I heard my alarm going off. Going through my shit. 
Who ran away? Who's car in the car? How long ago? Like three, three hours, three minutes. Three minutes ago? Yeah, when I walk over here. I just heard the alarm beeping and then I come yeah. out and you're right here. They run away. In the Why do you have gloves on? They, they run away. You know? Why do you have gloves on? My glove? Yeah, my glove. why do you have it on? That's mine. Why do you have it on? I didn't take nothing, bro. So why do you got gloves on? It's mine. It's only mine. That's my gum in your hand. That's my sunglasses. Yeah, they drop it. They drop it and then run away. I didn't take nothing. Bro, I'm calling the cops. I swear to God, I didn't take nothing, bro. No. You can call cop on me. I have no gun. I have no gun. I have no gun. Yeah, I have no gun. Yeah, I have no gun. So as you can see, that man was arrested for his troubles uh, and will spend no less than 45 years in a maximum security prison. So this woman uh, goes to pick up her DoorDash order, uh, only it appears that someone else with her name came and picked it up already. So somebody came and picked up my pizza and used my name and I can't get a refund. It says that it was picked up around 5.30. That's the order. No, I set the time for pickup, 8, 5.30. That's the time I scheduled it to pick up. Yeah. Nobody has came in and picked it up. I confirmed my pickup online that you. I wanted to pick it up at 5.30. I'm telling you that someone came in with that exact same name and picked it up already. What did she look like? Huh? It was a guy. It was a guy? Yes. And they just used my name and came by and picked it up? I guess so. I don't even, I'm not even from here. I don't even know anyone here. So what am, what am I going to do? Am I going to get my $20 back? Um, I can go back here and talk to my higher up. Please do here. that. Or no, please send them out actually. Uh, they're not here. That's why I have to go. Oh, well then please go call them. Yes, please call them. Thank you. Cause that was $20, you know. And I'm telling you that someone had came in. Nobody up came in and picked up my pizza. I confirmed my pickup time for 530 on my phone. Can you imagine seeing yourself from an inebriated night out, just seeing yourself on the internet for something like this? I would be mortified. But then again, I'd never do something like this. No, your friend isn't here. Okay, you know what? We don't have any friends. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You don't. Move. And we didn't. We actually weren't even doing this. <laughs> we didn't even have somebody coming. So, so what was the point? To fuck you guys up. Oh my God. That was so good. That's amazing. Are you stupid? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, no. It was just for fun. Oops. Was it? Yeah, was it, it for fun? It was. Did you have a blast? I did. Did it make your night? Is that how boring your it life was, is? Is that what you have to do? That's what you have to do on a Saturday? Than... It's kind of embarrassing. No, it, it, it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun. Yeah, you're funny. So, oh, gosh, I think. What do you think? You guys got. I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. You're actually made a mistake. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Stop filming us. Oh, no. You're scary. No, too bad. Okay, I'm. So uh, this is for the 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 judge. Okay, we may file a restraining order on you oh, for good. stalking us. I'm not doing anything. Yes, I you not, are. I have not even you cited you me walk, for going on your. You property. literally are in front of our home. Yeah. Our only safe space. Yeah. Every single day. I'm gonna be doing it How every you, single day. I know. Well, I'm gonna be cutting firewood out there. I don't care. And I'm gonna be raising my animals. You can out do here. whatever you want on your land. Just stop you, stalking us. I'm not stalking yes, you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not.
My husband walks out. You turn on your camera and yeah, film him. You're watching us I'm on our front I'm waiting for him to porch. say something. He doesn't want to talk to you. Well, Nobody that's does. Okay. You're I stalking us. You're here right now. Why are yeah, you here? Because I'm, ta I'm, I'm asserting to you one, one time. This one is the time. only time. I'm telling you I am to going call to tell my you. lawyer. No, I'm call telling you lawyer. to stop stalking us. I'm not stalking My you. kids are scared of you. I'm sorry about that. I am scared that. of you. You need to stop. No. I, why? I'm not going to stop why? being myself. You have gotten enough You started this, lady. No, Lady, you started this. No, you started this, All lady. summer, your customers you started have been parking in our driveway to get not. through. Yes, they have. Your driveway? This is an easement. This is our driveway. This is and an the easement. shipping container your is our driveway. Your driveway comes to the line no, of this doesn't. house. Yes, no, it does. No, this is You want me driveway. to show you? No. I have it on the dock. You're a stock. You're, okay. you're, you're Th that's free. That's why no, the, sheriff, the sheriff is why not making us move me? it. The sheriff made a mistake. No, they didn't. Yes, they, they don't did. make mistakes. In yes, fact, we do. talked to the deputy who's handling. Dr. Uh, Officer Pond? I, I talked talk to, to him too. No, not Officer Pond. His uh, boss. Oh. We talked to him boss yesterday. Is the sheriff. Yes, we've talked to everyone. Oh, and good. they said that stays. That's our land. That's not. That's on you, my easement. This is not your easement. It this is. is our driveway. See, from here, 22 feet down. You're so insane. Down here. That's my driveway. Feet. No. And then the in easement, there. That's over here. No. So that thing's in my easement. Okay. Like so when you trailers. when you get our demand letter, oh. your lawyer can respond to ours. Oh. I am done oh. asking you to leave I our don't family care. alone. I don't care what leave you us want. alone. No. Okay. You no. won't leave us alone? I'm not going to do anything you're, different. You're not going to Okay, doing. you're not going to stop filming us. No. You people. You are that's stalking all. us I'm, every day. You're getting angry. Yes, I because you're stalking my family. Yes, you are. I am not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You think it's funny? I think you're, it's you're hilarious. You're a sick person. You're you're no. psycho. Why would you no. stop me from doing business? Why would business? you film our home at eight o'clock at night? So this is a pretty crazy airline story. We had to get an airline story in here, and this one is kind of a nutty one. So uh, this guy, and I think it's 14 other passengers, all took this flight with the promise that they would be given. This is not, you know, where they want to stay tonight uh, in this city, but, but they took the flight with the understanding that their lodging would be paid for if they helped the airline out by taking this other flight. Uh, so, the problem is that when they get there, uh, the airline seems completely unwilling to help them out at all. Hey, Ryan, one more thing. Ryan. Ryan. Okay, Ryan, you've got 15 people here. You've promised a hotel room and you won't even speak with us. This is how American Airlines is going to do. You're not even going to speak with these 15 people here asking you where you're going to let us sleep for the night, Ryan? Wow. American Airlines. Dallas. He promised y'all a hotel room, right? He promised y'all a hotel room? I'm recording all this. He promised y'all a hotel room, too? Promise me one. Come here, and they would get us a hotel. And there goes Ryan. So you can see at the end there that our main character gathered the evidence, right, from all of the other passengers who had just been hoodwinked along with him. Uh, in part two here, he confronts the American Airline desk attendant, who seems uh, just as unwilling to help. So, we're gonna, well, we're gonna so can you tell me that one more time? You well, tell me. I, I, I've already advised you, and there's cameras everywhere recording both you and I, okay? Right, good. Now, I've got camera recording me, too. So you're saying even though y'all promised me a hotel room... I'm here now. You're telling me there's not going to be a motel room that me and my two-year-old granddaughter need to sleep on the airport floor is what you're telling me? And that even Dallas-Fort Worth has plenty of air, I mean, um, hotels, you're not willing to get us a hotel even though you told us you would get us a hotel? Your silence is admission of guilt, ma'am. Okay, so this is how American Airlines run things. Are you going through the same thing, sir? They promised you a hotel, too? Yes. But she told you she didn't want to talk to you, right? No, no I'm going to talk to her after your, after your this day. Okay. okay, well, I think I'm done here. American okay. Airlines is leaving us in the ho in the airport after promising us they would get us a room. Okay, ma'am, is, is it my turn now? Hello? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Okay, nice. She said she'd talk to you when she got through with me. Okay. This is American Airlines customer service. 
And if that wasn't ridiculous enough, in part three, they get the cops involved. I need to video you, though, real and quick, ad admitting that you heard all that, because I'm going to sue. I'm going to be honest, I was listening to the man, I was paying attention to the man but you, that, was, you that did, needed attention for EMS. Right, but you did. I, I heard y'all having a conversation, but I, I was focusing on but the But you man heard that, her say that I was not going to be able to fly out That you weren't going to be punishment. able to fly out, yes. Right. I did hear her say so, that you weren't going to be able to fly out. I, 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 she stuck me in the airport overnight, and now she's telling me I can't take my flight that I'm booked for in the morning because she didn't like the way everybody was mad. I'm not sure exactly why she banned you, but you're banned from this But she flight. told me it was punishment, and you heard her say that, right? I heard something about punishment, but I'm not sure okay. what I was paying attention to. The... So I will need to escort you. Okay, I'm on, I, I need this for my records. Why, why am I being kicked out of the airport? American Airlines banned you from that flight, and you can give them a call. I'm not sure they banned you. From what so where do I... So even though they promised me a hotel room, now they're kicking okay. me out of the airport into the street, and I have to sleep in the street tonight. Okay, so we're just, I just have to escort you to the public side since you no longer have a valid... Okay, well, you got to wait on my entire family. I don't know, man. These airlines are starting to get out of control. There's, you know, obviously there's the whole overarching movement of stop being such a jerk to service workers and desk attendants and all those people but it seems like at airports that pendulum has swung so far in the other direction i mean these people might have actually slept on a bench i've got a screenshot of the hotel room they promised us and then here's the hotel room we got <laughs> you like you like our hotel room scarlet yeah yeah it don't take much to please you, does it? Curious to see where the audience falls on this next one. The daughter in the back seat of this car managed to capture a video of her mom being confronted by a police officer who some might say was being pretty out of line. Oh, I'm on the phone with my husband because it's okay. my husband's car. That's okay. You can okay. hang up. Or he can hang it up. Yeah. What's up? What you guys think? Uh, license registration and i need proof that this car has the dealer registration uh well that's so why i was on the phone with my husband okay <laughs> Call uh, my we husband. don't use dealer cars to just drive around so we definitely don't go into del taco wait for the cops to go and no i pulled over because i was on the phone and i didn't want to talk on the phone because i don't i'm not license hooked up to anything please. hey uh, we are we're over here at uh why are you you're not telling someone our location. What I are told you, you talking to stop about? talking about? What are, what are you phone. going through? You understand? Okay, you know what? Nothing in the globe. Box. That's why I'm calling my husband while you're Reaching over here box, being irate. See. What is wrong with you? Are you okay today? You're not following instructions. I so am following instructions. I, step, I gotta right? call my husband because this is his vehicle. That's why I'm telling you I don't have the information. Ms. Wells, find the insurance. I don't have it. Okay, find the registration. I don't have it. You don't know that. I don't, I don't know what it is. That's why I called my husband. The heck? I don't have it. This is not my vehicle. My vehicle's in my garage. Come, call Carl. <laughs> this lady owns the Breaking Bad house, the house featured, obviously, in Breaking Bad. Uh, and she doesn't seem too happy about that fact. I get a feeling she deals with this a lot. What? I'm sorry. I, have you seen Breaking Bad? So what? It means you're a loser. The show's been over 10 years. Get a life. Go to school. It's a really good show. Have you no, seen it? Not. Have you watched it? <laughs> Go. What do you think? Did you buy it because of Breaking Bad? No. No? Okay. I bought it 50 years ago before you were born. How'd they film it in there? Why don't you sell it and then get Why a... Why don't you buy one and sell yours? Because <laughs> it's not a Breaking Bad house. Don't tell me what to do with my house, and it's not a Breaking Bad house. Go. <laughs> All right. Oh, traffic's behind you. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Have a good Have a good day. Drop dead. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. 
Sorry, can you guys turn on your music? It's really loud. Can you leave my property? We can once you guys turn down the music, we will. okay? Hey, leave. Hold on, hold on. Are you guys we able will. to just turn we it will. down for the night? We will. Hello. Otherwise, if we keep getting calls, we're going to keep coming we back. We will, just leave. Okay. Hold on, don't leave. Are don't you leave. able to turn down the music? Don't we leave. Will. We will. Oh, oh, is it Thank you. I got your guys on already. I got your bed. You are home. Uh, I got a brighter light. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your name? Hold on, hold on. What's your name, Mr. Johnson? Hold on, hold on. 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 All right, so you guys just gonna keep the music down for the night, okay? Okay. Hey. Otherwise, if we keep getting calls, okay, we'll come I need back. you to come closer. Okay. I can't hear you. What's your badge number? Okay. We good here? Is that your alt? It's your primary. You right. gotta tell me your badge number. Okay, so are you guys gonna turn on the music? No, I wanna good? know your badge number. Three eighty two. What's, What's your name? name? Officer Petru. You. Over What's there? your name? What's your name? Mr. Flashlight. What's your name? <laughs> Keep your flash out off my face first. What's your name, officer? Right here, Patel. Come close. I can't hear you. Come closer. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. He doesn't have to come closer. Yeah, he does have to come closer. Well, open the door. All right. Hey, so can you just keep the music down? What do you mean? It's on your own. We already told you, so just keep the music down, okay? I already told you my name and the badge number. Officer Patel, 358, okay? I know my laws. Come on, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I already told you my name and badge number. I can't hear you. Well, open the damn door then. No, I'm not gonna open. Okay, okay then. Too, too bad. Okay, too bad then. Keep the music down. If not, I then. I hear you. You need to come closer. All right. If you guys keep the music up, we get more calls. Hey, We're gonna keep knocking. Security. Okay? I know my laws. Under state law, do you have a search warrant? Come on, this. We're not coming to search your house. We're telling you to turn down the music. No, it doesn't matter. You're trespassing. If you don't have, if you don't have a warrant or a or uh, any type of search warrant or anything like that, you don't have no right to be on this property. I work for the state of Illinois. So Hold on, hey. tell me. Hold on, there's one more guy. Where's the other guy? Sanchez. Where's the other guy? There's one more guy with you. He was standing over there. Where's the other guy at? You can shine all that light all you want, bro. We know our laws. <laughs> I just thought this one was a really interesting scenario. So this woman uh, is supposed to be caretaking for the lady recording this video's aunt, uh, and apparently she has been dropping the ball in Apple Valley. Leave. You're leaving my aunt alone without changing her ass all night long. All night long, you're leaving. For how long are you leaving her alone for? Two hours or Two three. Two hours or three. And nobody's here to watch her. Nobody. That's not on me. How is that not on you? You are her only caregiver, Karen. Reinhardt, Blanchard. I it up. You're done. You're done. See? You're done. And you know you're done. I'm done with this. Call Eddie, Mom. Call Eddie right Eddie, fucking now. Where are you going now? Talking to my neighbor. Okay. Change my aunt's butt. You're neglecting her. Wake her up. She can't sit in her piss all night and all morning. Change her. You can do it. I am not here for that. And last but certainly not least, I love watching stuff like this. This guy records the fateful meeting that he has with his manager when he gets fired. I told her I don't care if she says that I'm rude because I did do my job, I did help her. That's exactly what I said, I told you that. Right. And I still don't care okay. because she could tell you I punched her and I don't care because I didn't do anything to her. I helped her, Okay. don't care. So. I did you my can't job. You not care in this business. At the end of the day, you have to take care of the associates. So I understand in the moment, I, let me, I'm talking, let me talk and then I can give you the floor. I understand in the moment you were busy. I understand that. We can't always help everyone at the same time, but the way that you went about the situation was not correct. Um, you can't just tell a customer, Google it. If they knew to just Google it and read for themselves, they wouldn't come to you for help. So in that situation, the better route would have been to either ask, to ask her to wait until you were done with the customers or to call somebody else for backup. Um, your words to me were, if she can't read, that's not your problem. No, I did not say that. Should have recorded me. And I know I exactly what people. I said. Okay, what did you say? 
I said that she didn't want to read. Yeah, she wants okay. me to read it for her. This is a, we're in the electronics. This is a business where I'm by myself. You're constantly going to be by yourself. You have to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of high activity. Mm -hmm. So for you to say for me to think that I could just come into my work and that there would be any help, that's not the case. You have to be prepared to, to be by yourself. And I was prepared to handle everything on my own. I don't look forward to my backup. I don't think the managers are going to come and help me. Okay. And I showed her the list. I was very kind to her. I'm on camera going back and forth between customers. Five times I went to her. At no point did I say, ma'am, I cannot help you anymore. I did not say that. Okay. And so I gave her all the information step by step, hot spot. I laid my phone down for her so she could read it. So the thing is, reading something and understanding it are two different things. You might be able to read something and understand it. Not everyone is the same way. Sometimes they need that extra guidance, especially the fact that she was significantly older than both you and I. So telling her to read it, you maybe she has a issue with reading. She didn't tell me that. She doesn't have to. That's her personal business. The point is, at the end of the day, she came to an associate who was supposed to help her, and she didn't feel like she got the help that she needed. Yeah, I have a job to do, so I really don't have time to be asking for all this help or to be like, That's you know, consulting for Best Buy. This is not Best Buy, where we could just where we get a commission to do all this work for them. That's not how it works. At the end of the day, Christian, we are in retail. We are here to serve our customers. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So comparing it to Best Buy, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But at the end of the day, this situation that we're talking about right now, you do not handle it correctly. And not only did you not handle it correctly, this is not the first time that this has been an issue. So I didn't handle it correctly because I told you that I didn't care that she lied to you, that I was rude. That's where we're at. Because that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. She lied to you, straight up lied to you. And I'm sorry I don't have time to, to stop my line. And for that's a lot of pressure on me. So the clock is ticking. I never asked you to stop your line. I, when I came and talked to you about it, you had not a single customer in electronics. I asked you then, because she was still waiting, can you come and help her? You flat out refused. Yeah, because she said I was rude. So why would I help somebody that's already upset with me? She wasn't upset. She just needed extra help and you didn't. And why her. Why didn't you help her? I did help her. You're the free one. I'm not free. You're free. You can do all these things. Okay, Christian. So we're going to stop it right there. Because number one, you don't know what my job entails, nor do I need to disclose it to you. Number two, that's your area. And we're all responsible for the same thing, taking care of our customers. And so based on the situation and the outcome of it and the fact that we've had numerous encounters like this before, I am letting you go. Okay. So you are free to take it up with another coach or store manager if you so desire. But as of today, I am terminating you. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks for doing me a favor. Thank you. Um, I received your best in your batch. That's our show for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'll leave you with another new song preview from my album that I will eventually publish.